Hey guys, I'm back. So how was it going week so far? So, um, here's my review on the NECA Godzilla 2019 version 1 and version 2. Now, of course, I don't have the box because clearly it's the same thing, but it's actually the same thing, but different box styles. So, but here is the original, the version 2 box. If I can even make some space because I have all my legendary Godzillas. So, there's the inside of what you're getting. Um, you get the front, side, side, bottom, top, and back. So, we'll start off with the weakest figure within the Godzilla King of the Monsters line, Godzilla 2019. Oh boy. Painting and sculpting on this figure is not that good. One, I mean, first of all, I had to shave the teeth off because it looked kind of bad. The eyes are... Barely see it, but they're derpy. One eye's looking left. One eye is looking another left. So you can clearly tell it's not, not very good thing. Um... The jaw, just the tongue is in a wrong, inconsistent color. And I don't really like that. Um, the teeth are very messy, especially on the inside. It's very, very messy on the inside. The gills are just regular gills. The same material. The arms are clearly the same, sort of, with some different sculpt. The painting on the nails looks kind of bad, to be honest. Um... The entirety of the back is just this inconsistent brown color. And even when I, and this is not a bootleg, but I put it in water and the entire thing is peeling. The paint is peeling. But yeah, you can see there's some dots and of course it's the same sculpt. Um, um, the legs are clearly the same. They're clearly the same in terms of, like, they're clearly the same except the foot. I mean, the foot looks a lot similar to 2014. You can barely see it, but it's a lot similar. Then, then, and then the dorsal plates are just another inconsistent green color. But they're a lot bigger compared to 2019. What? I originally thought that was a look. And then once I had the monster arts, why I was asking, why are they so thin? But then now I understand now why. It just comes as inconsistent brown and then, or gray, whatever you want to call it. And then it just kind of looks the same on the tail, except it's just a new tail with a, of course, a ball jointed segmented tail, which is really disappointing. Well, ten ball jointed left is not really disappointing, but I mean, it's almost clearly the same. Now, version two is really good. Version two is a nice. Um, he doesn't have any people, so you don't need to. You don't need to worry about anything. The teeth are, although blue for some odd reason, um, <laughs> but it's covered in some sort of blue green color, which looks really nice. Same with the arms, looks the same, just regular blues, but sometimes it kind of looks dull on the front. Of course, the nails are more shiny compared to 2019 original. And as you see, the body has some greens and blues, which look pretty nice. The legs are the same, except they have a vein detail, which is awesome. But the nails are completely the same, and as you can barely see it, but they're sort of a bluish color. Now, the dorsal plates are really nice. They're nice blue, which makes them shine out a lot more, which is what I really like about it. It shines out a lot more um, in terms of here. It just shines out pretty nice, and it has a nice blues everywhere. Of course, Remedy, I use this as a different the Godzilla, ready to be supercharged. Now, articulation of these guys are clearly the same. Head are both on a ball joint. The neck is... Oh, very. As you see, that's another QC issue I have. Because what I did, you can barely see it. But look, I removed the little slot here for the peg. So that means it'll tab in correctly. Because now it just sits there. 
and whenever I move it, it just pops off. The neck is very limited, unlike the monster ones. Ah. The arms are on ball joints, the barbell joints, they can go 360. Maybe you see that, but they can go 360. A bend at the elbow, a bicep swivel, a hinge jointed, hinge jointed hand, and a swivel at the hand. Waist swivel is very. Hold on, I need to make more space because there's so many neck does make more space. Um, as you can see, the, the head pops off way too easily, but not that much back movement. I don't want to break it. Oh boy. Legs are not on ball joints, so there's gonna be gaps everywhere. So that means you get a sitting pose that doesn't look as good. He looks kind of bad. However, um, he has a, hin a tight hinge joint at the arm, or the, at the knee, and that acts as a, thigh, as a thigh swivel, and as a ball joint at the hand, and of course, as a hinge joint at the jaw, I forgot about that, and a 10 ball jointed segmented tail. Ow, my arms. Which is really, really floppy. Posability on this guy is average for a NECA, but at least they came up with a 10 ball jointed segmented tail, which is something that obviously NECA wouldn't do until, you know, 62, where they had it a ball jointed segmented tail. Now, for accessories, this guy doesn't come with anything. However, Godzilla version 2 comes with. A lot of stuff. He comes with a got a atomic breath effect piece where the ground and of course the atomic breath itself. Now the slot here would line up to here. And it doesn't it, and the beam effect just sits there. It doesn't really do anything. I wouldn't super glue it because then you get just this and it kind of looks bland. Um, there you go. That's how it works. I like how you get some sort of explosion effect, kind of like the Rodan. Now, size comparison. Sizing. Oh, boy. Um, they stands They're both six inches, so we don't need to worry. Now... I bring in my entire unit of Godzilla figures. So, there is both of them side by side, and here are they compared. Six inch ruler. And you can barely see it, but they're around almost six inches. Now, comparing this to a lot of other figures, here are both of them compared to version 3 Godzilla. <laughs> the much more superior figure, but very hard to find. The SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014, which this will come in on Sunday. And the SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a figure fight between these guys. Sadly, I do not own NECA 2014. So, overall... NECA version 2 Godzilla is way better over 2019 Godzilla. However, that doesn't mean I still hate 2019 Godzilla. He is definitely the the most, sort of the weakest Godzilla NECA figure out there. Besides NECA Shin, I think, and NECA 84. Because, I mean, duh, he's so... You understand. However, I still think if he's worth your buck without... Because since the Monster Arts is out of print, I think yet this guy, for at least a decent paint job, with the eyes, which barely will that happen, and basically um, find one for a decent paint job and find it for at least a cheaper price. Now, the version 2 Godzilla is probably going to be a lot more expensive, but, I mean, he's not that bad. Sure, he doesn't have the translucent gimmick, which I was... Well, it's not really a gimmick, but I'll show you real quick. Oh boy. It, it, you could not really see it, but um, there is some translucent blue, sort of. You can't, there's not really enough translucent stuff here. You can barely see it, but uh, yeah. 
So I think version two Godzilla is way more superior because he has because the jaw is not that messy. He has a breath effect and he has a nice paint job. But again, find this guy if you wanted the regular 2019 and don't want to pay money on the Bandai or the Monster Arts. Only get this guy for a cheaper price. Or if you're just a Godzilla King of the Monsters completionist. Or if you missed out on Nega 24 Monster Arts 2019. So, um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And I'll see you guys on my next review on SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2014. So, I'll see you guys by then. Goodbye.